say? It said we transported foxes. We transported foxes. <laughs> All the way from Minnesota. All the way from Minnesota. <laughs> they were saved from a fur farm. They were saved from a fur farm. <laughs> <laughs> and that's that's that. That's it. That's yeah. the intro. Good, Good job. job. Merry Christmas to lots of foxes. We are taking 30 more off this fur farm. 31 to be exact. And they are going to their forever home. So keep following if you want to see um foxes walking on the ground for the first time because it's it's pretty pretty cool for them. Merry Christmas foxes. There we go. Cool. <laughs> it's okay. That was pretty sweet. Okay. Yeah, you can huff at me. She's like, yeah, swear at me and box. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have to censor that. <laughs> Ooh, you are pretty. Not yet. You gotta wait a little bit. It's okay. Oh, you're pretty sweet. You are a boy, so. Wrapping up the night with all the foxes ready to be transported to their new homes. They get a walk on ground for the very first time. Hi, you're so cute. Yeah, you are. A lot of people don't know how extensive the paperwork is for doing all these fox transports, so I'm just gonna use an example. So this is one uh, rescue, Critter Cove, that is getting some foxes. And, uh, oopsies. So I have to do USDA paperwork. I have to do a um, transport agreement, which is just something that we do for liability reasons for us. And then the foxes also require a health certificate. And uh, this rescue is a special case because um, I don't have to do this for every fox transport, but if a fox is a native color, like a true red, I have to also give them a DNR game farm receipt. And uh, there's a lot of misconception that because I have a game farm license that I like farm animals or like game, use them for game or something, but that's actually just what's required by state law if you're transporting any native color wildlife, even if it's captive born. So because they're getting two red, red foxes, I also have to do this. So lots of steps, there are lots of steps. And this is Gary. He is our transporter this time. Thank you so much for taking your time to do this and transport all these foxes. You are a huge help. That's what I'm here for. <laughs> this is Michelle from Save a Fox South. Uh, we just had our new foxes arrive um, early this morning. So Kayla and Ethan really want to be here, but unfortunately they're still on a flight. So yeah, we'll just show you everybody and then they'll do some videos later. Um, but some of them are already to come out. Uh, so this is everybody that was transported. 
and most of them will get picked up later on today. So you'll get to meet all of their new parents. And then these five over here are gonna be our permanent residents here. So we get to love and spoil these five kids. You guys are all adorable. All right, so there's already been drop-offs in <laughs> Illinois, Tennessee, um, Georgia, and now we're in Florida. And we have everybody here to pick up their foxes. So I'll go through and introduce everybody. Uh, Gary, the transport driver, thank you very much for a 24 hour straight shot, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Danielle, this is Jessica, like you said, with Gatorland, and we are taking three foxes. And eventually down the road, once they get acclimated, uh, they'll have a big, beautiful exhibit um, out where guests can see them and learn about their rescue mission. I'm Amy, and this is Christy. We are from Animal so Preservation cute. Education Sanctuary, or APES for short. And we are taking in a group of four foxes, and we are just very excited to give them a forever home where they can run and play and play with toys and just be loved. Hi, I'm Shannon and this is Nick and we are taking three foxes. Um, we're happy and thankful for Save a Fox Rescue for rescuing all these guys and we're just so excited to give the three that we're taking a, a wonderful home and with toys and a large enclosure and a big play yard and we've rescued quite a bit of animals but we're just private owners. <laughs> Say we are Save a Fox. We will share fox. <laughs> and we're taking five foxes. Five foxes. Five foxes. Back Excellent here. work. Good job. Wait, we're recording Daddy. See? Oh, cool. Oh, yeah. well, if you record it, it's going to be kind of all over the place. We're okay then. Yep. That one up on top there is the sweetest. Is that the cinnamon one? Yeah. That's I, the one I was that wondering I was, if that one always had that one it was so beautiful. That's, that's the one you were saying. Was I was petting it last night. It was that's just awesome. pushing it in my hand. Aww. I'm missing shoes. Oh no. That color is like my favorite. I never see that one. It's like a golden burgundy, I'm pretty sure. But I've never actually had that color myself, and it's oh, just yeah? so cute. It's so oh cute. Oh my gosh, so, we're so excited. <laughs> Again, Michaela really wants to be here. Um, she did give me the go ahead to go ahead and let them out. Um, so, yeah, let's get everybody out and explore the new area. So, today some foxes are getting a very Merry Christmas and they are going to experience running in dirt for the very first time. These are our five newest fur farm rescue foxes. Let's watch them play. Are you ready? Hi. All right, here we go. Wow, what's this? Get on your feet, this side's to see. Rolling hills or city streets. Ocean to ocean and all in between. It's out there just waiting on you.
Ice does look a lot like mud. I remember you using it. I'm with the newest for Farm Rescues, but I almost forgot to mention about our sponsoring program for these new rescues. Everybody's very curious about this phone. Um, so like I said in the last Fur Farm Rescue video is we're doing a new sponsor program for these guys. I'm surrounded. <laughs> Cause we had to figure out a way that we could do a sponsor program and afford to build all of their enclosures since there's just there's 500 foxes at the fur farm well now there's going to be 400 because we've been able to rescue so many um between save a fox whoop, and other rescues so the new sponsor program it's three thousand dollars you get a live stream camera on the enclosure you get a plaque on the cage saying that you sponsor them and you also have rights to come and visit the foxes and you get to name all the foxes so <laughs> there has been sorry i'm moving so much these foxes are not quite sure about people yet and how to interact so they like to do these little little nips yes so we have gotten many emails about people wanting to sponsor We've gotten your emails. I'm sorry if we haven't responded yet. There's lots of people emailing. I think we have 12 people in line right now that want to be sponsors and name foxes. So as we rescue, we will go down the line of people emailing in order and uh, respond back to you. So just make sure to be checking your emails. And yeah, this yard is already sponsored. They haven't named the foxes yet, but We'll just keep replying to your emails. So if you want to do the sponsoring yard, just keep emailing, um, let us know. And there's lots of foxes to save. So I'm sure we will get to you and you will be able to. Thank you all so much for your support. Uh, because of you, these foxes are living very happy lives now.